Well, some big decisions for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the moment. Gary Neville is at Old Trafford and we're part of our commentary team today. Gary, let's start with one of the easiest decisions and that's picking Bruno Fernandes. He's going to be crucial to anything Man United do this season. Yeah, he is. And I think that's one of the reasons they're not probably panicking as much as maybe, like Patrice mentioned, the fans are on social media about United not signing players because since he came into the club, United have been uh, the best points taker in the league. They've been right at the very top of the game and I think the influence of him is huge beyond what anybody could have expected. Now, whether that's going to continue, who knows? Obviously, City at the end of the season had the distraction of the Champions League and, and, and Liverpool obviously were cruising towards the title victory and just maybe eased off a slight, a slightly. But United are a far better team than him and he's number one on the team sheet in midfield and the others are fighting for those other two spaces. Donny van der Beek is, is on the bench today, but going forward, how do, do these three, including Paul Pogba, work together in midfield? What's the balance going to be? I think we get a little bit ob obviously obsessed when... Um, a player signs like van der Beek and then obviously we find out, we, we try and imagine how they're going to work together with the other players. I look at it as a 60 game season and think that Manchester United should have three, four, five good players in every single position and there should be competition for places. So when I say, or anybody says Manchester United need Jadon Sancho, the immediate thought comes to, well, how do they get them in the team with Greenwood, Rashford and Martial? Well, they may not do. One of them may have to sit out on the bench and I'm really comfortable with that. That's happened through all great teams Histories whereby great players, good players, have to sit out and get comfortable with it. They'll all play a part in a season. I think that'll be the same with United midfield. David De Gea starts, and I know you've said that that should always have been the case. Do you think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did have a, a big decision to make, though, on whether it was him or, or Henderson? I think the decision to make on uh, David De Gea was probably three or four games before the end of last season. Uh, when Romero was number two and David De Gea had made a couple of really big errors. And I think at that point where he decided to go with him and David De Gea finished the season in those last three games quite strong. Obviously, the club finished third in the league. I think at that point, Oli made his decision. I, I, look, there is potential in Henderson, but I'm not getting carried away by it at all. It's a million miles away from thinking that he should take David De Gea's space. He's played for Sheffield United, had a great season with them. Well done to him. But the idea that he can go out there and play in front of, or play on that pitch with that scrutiny and that level of sort of examination is a different level. And I think he should be thinking about playing for Manchester United in cup competitions, games that don't maybe have the same level of importance and let David De Gea do what he's doing at this moment in time and, the, and it will naturally come.